In this video, we're going to talk about uh, the rectangle tool, which is going to be one of the most uh, useful and uh, used tools uh, in uh, Figma. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, rectangle. And as you can see right here, if you click on the arrow, you're going to see a bunch of other tools that we're going to talk about and explore in a moment. Uh, but let's uh, just focus on the rectangle tool. Now, in order to create a rectangle, it's uh, actually very easy. Simply left uh, click and hold with uh, the left mouse button. And as you can see, we created a rectangle. So, so far, so good. Now, there's a few different options that uh, I want you to learn about. The first one being the corner radius, because a lot of the times uh, these days, uh, if you're working on UI designs or UX designs, uh, chances are that uh, you want to maybe round up uh, those corners uh, and uh, this is going to be useful to create uh, all sorts of different shapes. And uh, the radius, you can use uh, um, a few different options in order to increase uh, the, the radius or decrease the radius. You can use shift plus the up arrow in order to go by increments of 10. So up and down arrows. Alternatively, you can see that as I hover over this section in the corner radius, uh, the cursor changes. And uh, this indicates that if I hold uh, and drag with the left mouse button, I can literally resize the gradient uh, in uh, a live uh, preview. Now there's also another option, which uh, is independent corners. And uh, this uh, is going to basically smooth out the corners uh, individually. So if I just want to smooth out this one right here, I can uh, literally just uh, decrease it. Uh, and as you can see, it's going to be uh, really useful for chat UI elements or things of that nature, really. Now, on top of that, uh, there's uh, a few different options which are going to be common to most uh, of uh, these uh, other elements uh, in Figma. And uh, we're going to explore the fill very briefly. So in order to change the color of this rectangle, I can simply go over here, change the fill, and uh, I can use uh, pretty much any color in uh, the color wheel. Um, I can also update the opacity. So if I want uh, a a uh, rectangle to be uh, slightly opaque uh, and transparent, really. That is the correct uh, word, uh, what I was trying to communicate. And I'm going to create an ellipse uh, right here, and I'm going to basically bring it to the back. Uh, you can see this concept of uh, transparency even uh, better. And this uh, is going to change the alpha channel, so start to become uh, um, familiar with uh, these uh, vocabulary and um, essentially this uh, is going to be it for this uh, basic introduction. We're going to go into much more details as to all of these other sections in uh, further videos but uh, for this one uh, we are good to go so let's continue with the very next